Right now on to 8.2, they say in the diagram below, we've got PQRS, which is a cyclic quadrilateral. And they say that PR is a diameter to the circle. Right, so already I note that that, that is a diameter. And what does that already tell you? It tells you that this angle here, which is PSR, should be equal to 90 degrees. Right, remember that's angle on a semicircle, but also it tells you that the angle uh, PQR is also equal to 90, that's also angle uh, on a semicircle, right? Okay, very important for us to note that. So they told us PR is a diameter, and we've got also a cyclic quad. So already that does tell us that Q2 must be equal to P2. Right, that's our bow tie theorem. Okay, and it tells us also that uh, R2 should be equal to S1. Okay, so they say the line MRT is a tangent to the circle. Oh, beautiful, we've got a tangent. Okay, and in this case, they say um, we've got S2 equal to. Uh, 65 and R2 equal to 35. Now, ladies and gents, they say to us, determine the sizes of each of the following angles with reasons. So firstly, we're looking for R1. Okay, so R1. So notice there, we've got R1 angle uh, subtended or rather angle between a tangent and a chord right, equals to the angle on the opposite side of that chord, right, so 10 chord theorem, so that means that R1 is equal to S2, okay, and this is equal to 65, and we can just simply say that's the 10 chord theorem, okay, 10 chord. And then they said we must look for R4. Right. Now, I'm going to actually take R4. Now, think about it. I want you guys to remember, PR is a diameter, right? And MRT is a tangent. What does that mean? It means that's equal to 90 degrees, right? So in this case, that's the 10 perpendicular to the radius, okay? So R4 in this case, okay, let's start by saying, uh, but we know that uh, PR, okay, in fact, let's say angle PRT is equal to 90 degrees. That's tangent perpendicular to the radius, okay? And so that means that R4 is equal to 90 minus R3, okay? Of course, R3 and R4 are, uh, make uh, PRT. So in that case, that means that R4 would be equal to 90 minus 35. Remember that uh, R3 was actually given. All right, so 90 minus 35 would give us 65 degrees, right? So that's the value of R4. That is 65 degrees, and we found it in that way. And then finally, they say uh, we need to find angle T, which is this guy over here, right? So um, we could use several ways in this case to find that angle. Okay, um, firstly, we've already found out in this case that uh, we've got another, okay, let me just try to show it there. So we said we've got a 90 degree angle that is formed there, right? So in that case, it would make it easy for us to find the angle P2, okay? Because that means that angle P2, and by the way, uh, we could have also gotten it through the 10 chord theorem, okay? So P2 is actually also equal to 65 degrees, right? 
Now, if we look at triangle PRT, we'll have a 90 degree there. We'll have 65, and so that means that would also be 35. But let's, uh, let's do it nicely, ladies and gents. So we say in triangle, uh, in fact, let's say R4 is equal to P2, which is 65 degrees. And that's the 10 chord theorem. Okay. And in that case, in triangle, PRT, in triangle PRT, we know that PRT, we've already stated that it's, it is equal to 90 degrees. We stated it there, right? So PRT plus P2 plus angle T is equal to 180 degrees. And that's sum of angles in a triangle, right? And so that means that angle T should be equal to 180 minus, right? So remember, that's minus 90, which is PRT, and that's minus that R2, which is 65. I'm already thinking about the answer. So that's 90 plus 65, and so angle T should be equal to 35 degrees. I'm sure there were uh, other ways in which we can get that. Um, Let's see, uh, what other way could we actually have used? All right, actually, we could have used the fact that that's 90 degrees uh, as well. I mean, if that's 90, that uh, S3 should be 90. We already knew the value of S uh, R4 to be 65, and so we would get T to be equal to 35 in that way. So uh, you've got a number of options that you could have taken, ladies and gents. And that calls us to go into question nine. We are done with this one.